Hello everybody, welcome back to 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be 5 minutes. Today in the news, we're gonna divert really quickly over to something that I just found out about because honestly, I wanna talk about it and then we'll get into the real story. We are getting a new Kirby game and it's basically Fall Guys, but Fall Guys plus Kirby and I'm kinda here for it. Apparently it's four rounds of four players and you eat up as much as you can in order to smash your opponents and I have no real info on the pricing and it appears to be dropping some time this summer over at the e-store. Is it a quick cash grab on the success of Fall Guys? Probably. Do I care? Not one bit. I'm ready to roll. Meanwhile, in the less savory part of the business, Come on, that's a good joke. The GameStop NFT marketplace launched yesterday and honestly, I don't care about their lame attempt to keep their meme status. What I do care about is the fact that days before they laid off employees, I assumed to make way for their immense profits coming from their new NFT scheme. About 116 staff were cut according to sources and a similar round of layoffs happened back in May. And people still employed are feeling it as they continue to be underpaid and overworked while the company brought in $1 billion last year from selling all of its meme stock. As noted last week, our leadership team is committed to profitably growing growing our commerce business and launching new products, including those developed by our blockchain team. CEO Matt Furlong told his staff in an email obtained by Kotaku, GameStop of the future has a unique opportunity to anticipate and meet an expanding range of customer demands and merging interests across our stores, web properties, and the virtual world. So it seems GameStop is embracing its meme status trying to target Reddit and the diamond hands crowd with NFTs. But honestly, most of them aren't stupid and they see through this and I don't think GameStop understands the whole Diamond Hands thing, the whole buying of GameStop stock wasn't because we suddenly loved GameStop. It was to stick it to the man, which I don't think GameStop ever really understood. Speaking of NFTs and sticking it to the man, ooh, this next story's so good. During Brazil's International Games Fest, the developer of Chroma Squad, Mark Venturelli, was going to give a presentation on the future of game design. But just a few seconds in, he flipped the script and ambushed everyone with a presentation titled, Why NFTs Are a Nightmare. <laughs> Attacking NFTs and the whole pay to earn model, the environmental costs, predatory practices, and the idea of games becoming a new job or a side hustle instead of just being fun. Things I have been hammering home for months now. The best part though, is that some people in the audience and a lot of the sponsors were the companies and people behind this nonsense. These people are outsiders here. They're not important, he said to PC Gamer. They're just trying to buy their relevance because they have no actual influence over the future of our industry. If you just give them this space uncontested, you're just giving them exactly what they want and buying their narrative that they're relevant. That is such a perfect statement. He continues to say that it creates an aura of distrust between all the developers in the industry and companies that are trying to force NFTs on us. Computationally, like in real life, if you don't trust the people that you're working with, you have to spend a lot more energy to achieve the same things, he says. If I'm living with you in the same house and we don't trust each other, I have to, every time before I leave the house, hide my valuables. I have to make inventory of the things that I own and maybe put cameras or locks inside of things. When I come back home, I need to check everything and see if you mess with any of my stuff and make sure you don't get into my room when I'm sleeping and all that shit. And he makes a great point. The more game developers and big game companies that try to infuse NFTs into their products and try to scam all of us, the less trust we have for them in the long run. He went on to say, I've heard the sponsors got really mad. They tried to break into the talk while I was talking, but the organization would not let them. There was never any kind of intention on the organizer's side to shut me up or anything like that. And apparently the organizers of the event did know it was going to happen. They were okay with it, but the crowd did not know. And so I think that is... Beautiful. It's a beautiful moment. I'm so glad it happened. And honestly, if you want to watch the video, it's glorious. It's down below, obviously, in the description. Speaking of both in the description and glorious, Cox Clips, please, by all means, go over to youtube.com slash Cox Clips and check out all the VODs and the shorts and the various different Let's Play things that I've been doing. If you're asking, where are those, Jesse? That's where they're at. So I would love it. Go check that out. Anyway, that's it for the show. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.